everyone and welcome to another video here on YouTube. We are going to start a brand new series today. We're going to start Oxygen Not Included. Um, full disclaimer, this is the base game. I've not bought as yet at least any of the expansion packs. Uh, do let me know in the comments down below if there is a categoric reason why I should be using them. Um, but this is one of those games in my playlist, or sorry, in my catalogue, in my Steam catalogue, that is criminally underplayed everyone's got those games in your steam catalog that you probably bought wanted to play for one reason or another you just never really gave it the old college try um i can't tell when i last played this because i've loaded it up now which means that steam is going to say that the last time i played this today but i would hazard a guess that it's a fairly considerable amount of time since i last played this so there's going to be some learning there's going to be some screw ups so if you guys want to backseat a little bit Feel free in the comments. Let me know if things I'm doing wrong. Um, I do recall playing with the gases and moving the gases around uh, was tricky. So that's going to be uh, another learning curve for me. But I'm keen to give this one a go. And we're going to have a little bit of fun with this. All will be revealed once we start. We're going to have a little bit of fun and try and put a little bit of a narrative spin on this and, and, and throw some uh, comedic elements into this. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you hit that uh, like button. Make sure you comment down below. Make sure you hit that sub button. Ring the notification bell for all notification uploads of future videos. And if you want to, you can join the Discord. The link for that is in the description below. Right. Uh, let us go then. Let us let us begin. Okay, right. Um, what have we got here? Let's take a look at our three duplicates to begin. Now, of course, we can re-roll these. Should we do a little cheeky couple of re-rolls in each one? Like that. There we go. Right. Okay. So we got a doctoring plus nine in medicine. That seems like good, Frankie. Uh, traits. Increased strength, decreased germ resistance. Hmm. Stress reaction, destructive, overjoyed response, sparkle streaker. There's nothing Frankies are more proud of than their thick, dignified eyebrows. So this is where I was, I was going to have a little bit of fun with this, because I was going to play this and have UK politicians be my duplicates and have a little bit of fun and try and throw a little spin on this one. So we've got to try and link... UK politicians to these traits and, uh, you know, interests, I guess. So over here, we've got uh, this person here, very good at construction, plus 225 construction speed, um, increased excavation speed, decreased gem resistance. So both of these people are likely to get uh, uh, sick easier. Stress reaction is Banshee. The duplicate whales uncontrollably when stressed. Uh, overjoyed response, balloon artist. Uh, and this one, okay, will not repair buildings while above 60% stress, okay? And then finally over here, we've got somebody who's a very good farmer. Um, it's actually got a, a decent um, construction speed boost as well. Doesn't snore very loudly, though. It's an ugly cry. If this duplicate gets too stressed, it won't be pretty. The duplicate hands out balloons when they're overjoyed as well. Okay. Frankie, as he's called currently, he's increased strength. Tidying speed, carrying capacities, big, strong, almost like a, you could say, sort of a, a leader type trait. However, when things get too hot for handle, he basically checks out. He, uh, he buggers off. Doesn't want to, doesn't want to know. Sweat. The, the I think that one writes itself. Okay, for the second one here, we got increased construction, increased ex excavation, which means they can dig very deep. Some could say, or some would say, that perhaps that would mean digging themselves a hole much, much quicker than other people tend to do. And then whales uncontrollably when stressed. I was at HMP Pentonville last week. They've now got patrol dogs who are barking, which helps deter drones. Uh, finally, we've got somebody who's good with agriculture, harvesting speed, tending speed, seed chance. Farmer's touch effect duration. Touching, keyword. Um, he can construct things quickly. He's a loud snore. He will rudely awake nearby friends. Now, I'm going to take that in isolation and just say that he's just rude around nearby friends and everyone is more alert when they're around him just because of the person that he is. Um, and when this person gets too stressed, I wouldn't say this person is an ugly crier, but it's certainly an element of being s not a pretty sight when they're stressed. Okay, so I think for this one, 
hands up anybody who's been to Peppa Pig World. What a team we have. David Cameron, Liz Truss, and Boris Johnson. And we'll call this place... The Parliamentary Hotel. Let us embark. David, Liz, and Boris, we embark on your adventure. Alert! I've woken at the target location, but colonization effects have already hit a hitch. I was supposed to land on the planet's surface, but became trapped many miles underground instead. Although the conditions are not ideal, it is imperative that I establish a colony here and begin mounting efforts to escape. So, my understanding is, if I'm just going to pause this for one second, my understanding of this game is, is that uh, we are working towards basically escaping this planet, I think, um, and that the end goal is to get on a rocket or something like that and and escape the uh the world that we are currently inhabiting albeit many miles underground uh for those of you that haven't seen this game uh we're not actually going to be giving orders specifically to our little duplicates here our little politicians um and in fact ironically i think actually a lot of people would prefer that these three went and lived a few miles underground to be honest um but uh, yeah, so we're not going to be giving them orders per se. We're going to be uh, putting out jobs and then the game will be assigning duplicates to go and do those jobs based on their skills, based on prioritization of those skills, etc, uh, etc. Et and there are many, many different types of soil and uh, iron ore, metal ore. There's algae, there's different gases down here, some good, some bad. We've got obviously water deposits. We have little shine bugs. And everything has a role to play in the larger picture of this. So let's just take a quick look around and see what we've got. So straight away, we've got two reasonable si uh, bodies of water. Um, I think this one here is probably going to be the most intelligent one to go for initially. Um, got some fertilizer there. Um, just looking around. We don't have too many other oxygen deposits around here. There's one up there. So this like these things emit oxygen. So you can see actually there's actually some, even though there's oxalite in there, there's a lot of carbon dioxide in there already. We're in quite a small space here. Small amount of water here, which we can probably bottle up uh, and just keep for keepsies. So I think we'll probably look to build out this way first and then go down for the water um, and see how we get on and get the, get the basics of our little base up and running. So let's set our priorities, right? Now we know... He's our doctor man. So, in reality, I think what we should probably do is just tell them to make it a very low priority. Not, we're not saying they can't do it. If he's busy or ill or whatever, we're saying that they can't, you know, not do it. It's just that he's obviously the best person to do it. In the same way, farming should be Boris's job. I'd love to see Boris Johnson on a farm. Absolute carnage. Um... Although, to be honest, I wouldn't want to wake up and in bed and see David Cameron looking down a stethoscope at me. Uh, so, all right, so yes, yeah, so you're the you're the building person. Although, I would be a little bit worried about Liz Trust building something because I think it will fall down quicker than she builds it based on her policies of recent years when she spent uh, roughly 33 minutes in charge of the country and completely fucked the economy. That is a disgrace. Um, no, I'm being facetious here. I'm sure it's a lot deeper than that. I get it. I'm uh, I'm poking a little bit of fun here. Just 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 go with me, all right? Just just roll with it. Just roll with the punches. Let's not get into a crazy political debate in the comments about um, you know all that kind of stuff. Let's just have a little bit of fun, shall we? So that's what we're going to do for now. So we're going to set those priorities where they need to be, so that um, as and when building, farming, and doctoring jobs come along, um, these people. Uh, are, are doing roughly the right job. I would say though Liz Trusk should be a little bit higher priority on digging because she's pretty good at it. Um, his strength skill and his storage skill are pretty good, so he should look to do that. He's also good at tidying. David Cameron is actually useful. He's actually useful in this. Attacking Liz Truss. Hell hath no fury like a polit politician scorned. Boris, on the other hand... Actually, I, I've done that wrong. He should actually be okay at that. But we're gonna, so we're going to do it slightly different on that one just because actually Boris isn't too bad at it. But with Liz Truss, is, that's your main kind of priority. So that I'm kind of happy with. We'll, we'll see how that pans out. We'll see how that goes. If that needs tweaking, we can kind of do it along the way. 
Okay, right. So the first things we need, realistically, we have some food in there. We're going to have to get food sorted out reasonably quickly. Um, but we need to get um, we need to get an outhouse. We need to get a pitcher pump in there. Um, and we will need uh, to fairly quickly as well to get the research station up and running because of the some of the things you can get in the research. Um, oxygen diffuser it depends on what the oxygen levels are like carbon dioxide as a gas is heavier and that is simulated in this which means oxygen uh, carbon dioxide will go to the bottom of any space that it's in um this is all part of the gas management i was talking about earlier that can be quite tricky especially when you get involved in other gases in this game things like chlorine and other um noxious gases if you actually come up with carbon monoxide which i also think is present in this game we've got a lot of copper ore over here we've got some algae as well which we can use for these oxygen diffusers which can actually help uh convert uh algae into oxygen and at some point we will also unlock the ability to start to convert carbon dioxide into breathable air as well so let us begin let us begin our digging we are going to dig out uh i'm just going to start by start doing some digging so we'll go dig tool just gonna go all the way along this way first of all just to open things out because there's so many tasks they're all gonna get involved which is which is kind of fine initially and we are going to need to put a couple of tiles across there to help them jump across and now they're stuck okay well once they okay right well i guess we're uh We'll dig. <laughs> Good start, lads. I guess we'll dig that out as well, then, shall we? <coughs> I mean, we were going to need to go down anyway, because that's where the water is. So that's not the end of the world that that's happened. Um, storage bins. Not too worried about that. We will probably need a ladder now, won't we? So we'll build ourselves a cheeky little ladder there. Build some tiles that run across. You can see, look, if you zoom in, you can see them, look, they're, uh, the, the mannerisms on the face is showing that they're uh, holding breath because there's low oxygen. So we're, we've opened up an area where the oxygen is not great. The oxygen here is oxygenating in here. It's all very breathable. But down here, the oxygen has yet to, to get there. And actually tiling this off, I don't know, do these tiles... I don't know if they, I mean, you would think they would partly prevent gases going to and from you would think right I have a little bit of oxalite there and there's a little bit over there as well so actually what we could do is we could actually just keep digging keep digging across this way dig this out as well and allow that oxygen to uh, to filter across so lots of tasks for them to do once we do this build we'll, we'll place some initial buildings over here um, we'll probably look to put the beds potentially up here Just because of we got the oxalite up here. So this area here should be pretty breathable once we open this out The carbon dioxide might filter out. There's a big water deposit over there as well uh, We also have access to a few things already. Obviously, we've got to sort the outhouse out We'll probably stick that over there looks like we've got some carbon dioxide and some polluted uh, Air over here. We don't want to go too far that way Okay, right, the oxygen is spreading quite nicely in here. It's actually very, very good up here. Very, very breathable. And I think a lot of the unbreathable stuff is now dropping into this area here. Which is okay. I don't mind creating a little oxygen trap there. Or sort of carbon dioxide trap in there. Because there's not really much in there I'm going to be using for now. And with the oxalite in here, we can actually go down this way and come across to get into where the water is. And at the moment, that's all very breathable. And there's a little bit of unbreathable carbon dioxide in here but nothing too mad we can actually put put the overlay on so this gives you an idea of uh breathable oxygen um but yeah down there is fine over there is fine but yeah downhill is pretty shit don't want to be getting stuck down there uh right we are almost coming to the end of the first cycle which means that they will need beds fairly soon so maybe we just um for the time being, get three cots made there. We probably also will need to um, deconstruct one of those tiles so that we can look to build a ladder down here.
and then do that crossing so that we can head to our water source. Yeah, lots to build. We're also going to need to build... We'll build the outhouse there for now. And we'll also build a wash basin. And then once we get through there, we can get a, a pitcher pump installed. I'm assuming that means they will dig that out just to allow that to, to pump to happen. All right, now they now need food. How much food have we got in here by out of interest? 15.6 uh, kilos of nutrient bar and 7 kilos of muck root. Yeah, he didn't like that food very much. Boris! Okay, there's there's no secret private dining in here. Kipper! <laughs> right, how are we looking on the other auction? In here is absolutely fine. This is a... Uh, a perfectly habitable space. Oh, Boris is a really loud sleeper, isn't he? Oh, he's going to piss everyone off. Boris! To me, it looks like the tip of a, of a, of a gigantic cocktail stick that's, that's emerging through the, yeah, the integuments of a, of a super colossal pickled onion. Dead tired, snoring friend. Right, Boris is going to go and sleep up here somewhere. Right, we're, we're going to have to sort that out. I mean, look at them. Poor David and Liz. They're going to be so tired in the morning. Their stamina is still at 100%, though. So maybe it'd just be some kind of like negative buff, yeah, which is what it is. Okay, right, well, we're going to have to uh, address that in this cycle, I think. <laughs> there's going to be uh, there's going to be some words in the morning. There's going to be some some choice words, I think, from Liz and David. Look at Boris getting up. He's like, oh, what an amazing night's sleep that was. How do you guys sleep? Right, I'm thinking if we can dig these out. Yeah, he's picked up the water. That's 34.9 grams of water. Can put that in there. We need five kilos of water though. Six hundred kilos of. Actually, there's a no, there's a lot more. There's tons of water in there, which is great. That should last a fairly considerable amount of time. But there's a little bit of water in there now, which is great. Still nowhere near enough though to actually use it. Okay, we're almost done with the digging out on this side, and we're about to expose that piece of uh, oxalite which means more oxygen being poured into this environment. Fantastic. That should be all good. So I'm hoping if we do this, it's going to allow the water to sort of like spread out along everywhere. There's quite, there's, you know, there's a lot of water there in fairness. So that spreads out across the entire area, which it should do now. Can we now, we can now mop the entire thing. Excellent. So we can gather that water. Oh, that oxalite just disappeared. Oh, they do run out after a while. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, that's not emitting any oxygen whatsoever for some reason. Okay, that's concerning. That one's not got long to go. Okay, right. Well, we're going to need to uh, get a move on with the... Let's, let's get the old research station down. Oh, we, need, we need power for that as well. I forgot about that. Who is that that's like, Liz Trust literally speeds her. Look how quickly she builds. Fantastic work. Right, okay. Let's pause for a second. Let's just take stock of where we're at. So, we're going to have to move his bed. Now, where do we go for this? Do we go up? Now, we've got a lot of oxygen coming into this room, right? So, we could, in theory, go up. And go into here. And, and maybe have, we could have power and research up here on one side. And we could have maybe sleeping quarters up here on the other. I think that's a good idea. I think that is a good plan. So we're going to do that. We'll go that way. I don't know how... So if we have one cot, say, there, do we, how much of a gap do we need to leave? Or maybe I'll leave... We'll start with, like, one gap. See if that's enough. If it's not, we'll have to move, move beds and go to two. And we'll do that. And then dig-wise, that will make it... Uh, four tiles. I'm hoping they'll be able to reach the top tile. I think they stand and take two tiles, don't they? Yeah, they stand and take two. I think they can go two above them. So that should be fine. So that's uh, more work that they need to do. And then, of course, we're going to need to start getting and thinking about um, getting.
getting some farming and some agriculture on the go. And get Boris to work. So this is now going to be their only job. There's no building for the moment. Uh, I suppose what we could do... Uh, we move these. Decon deconstruct that. In place... So we could test it actually and put it there, couldn't we? Let's test it now. And put it there. Because that may mean that we'll find out straight away if one gap there is uh, is enough to stop whoever David Cameron in this occasion to see whether that is enough to stop David Cameron from uh, getting upset and organizing a referendum. Now oxygen, because it's a lighter gas, should rise. So we should find reasonably quickly that the oxygen begins to get into this area. It's going to be a bit shit initially. Um, but oxygen should begin to rise into this area and help uh, populate it. But we are, we can, of course, stick an oxygen diffuser in there. But the problem is that we can't use that until we get power. Can I just say, I didn't write this. Every Liz Truss spends at least half the day pretending that they remember what they came into this room for. <laughs> oh my god, that's absolutely perfect. Please tell me that we get some of the guns. Boris Johnson's are sweet, delicate flowers. They need to be treated gingerly with great consideration for their feelings. I mean, that was not quite so accurate, but he always portrayed himself as the sort of lovable buffoon, didn't he? So that's not um, that's not that miles away, is it? Come on, we need to click. Where's da Where's David? He's hiding behind Boris. You can't hide behind Boris forever. Oh, he was in front of Boris. There's nothing David Cameron's are more proud of than their thick, dignified eyebrows. When well, that sounds a bit more like, uh... oh god, what was his name? <coughs> right, how are we looking? Oxygen-wise, it's barely breathable, so they can at least breathe in there for now. The oxygen isn't rising quite as quickly as I was hoping into there. Which is fine, because that oxygen diffuser, though, will get us sorted. So, uh, what we can do is we'll get, uh, we'll get, should we put, there? yeah, we'll put a couple of those there. We'll leave some space and put, and put for another one, potentially. Three batteries. And then of course we'll need that. All of these, of course, will need to be connected. Right, food wise, they're eating oh my god, you see how much food they just ate? Did you just eat over a hundred kilos? Oh my nutrient bars almost run out. Okay, we're in uh, we're in a bad route. There's also 3,136 germs inside the ration box. That's not great. Right, food source is a priority in the morning. We should be able to finish that off quickly. That's fine. Right, here we go. So, when David Cameron gets off the, uh, off the toilet and goes to bed... What the freaking hell? Go to sleep, would you? Right. Yeah, the uh, the light bug is is keeping them awake. Although Boris Johnson doesn't seem to care. He's such a deep sleever. He doesn't care if it's light, noisy, whatever. But this shine bug, it's uh, it's not helping. It's like a car rolling up with its headlights on, with its main beam on, and just shining in their face. Ah, uh, look. You can see the little squares that come out and emanate around. Oh, it does. It looks like it just creeps across. Yeah, it does. So I think it needs to be too spaced across. That's useful to know because their beds are, are going to go up here. One thing I always I remember I used to like to do was to actually tidy up all this, but there's so much stuff on the floor. So that can store up to 20 tons. I mean, that sounds a lot, but I mean, that there is half a ton. That's half a ton. That's three quarters of a ton. That's three quarters of a ton. So it mounts up really quick. So you end up needing to actually like, clear up like there's that's one that's nearly two tons to clear up all of the stuff that's kind of on the floor you need 
like an absolute warehouse of storage bins to be able to move all that around, move all that uh, off the floor so that it looks a bit more tidier and a bit nicer. Right, the air is getting better in there, which is good. Who do we think is going to volunteer to do the generator? I hope it's not Boris because otherwise we won't be getting much power. It is. Boris hops on there. When the last time we saw Boris do any kind of physical activity, he either nearly injured a child and injured a German on a football pitch. Right, oxygen generator is working. Look at all that lovely oxygen. Okay, we've created a lovely little little space for everyone, which is nice. Right, food. I mean, we are going to have to just roll with this microbe thing. They are not. They are not going to like that. That is going to be the lowest of low quality food. They are going to absolutely hate that. But unfortunately, there's not much we can do about it. Until we get the research station done. We are also going to need to... Furniture-wise. So we can have one cot there, one cot there. In fact, actually, let's do this a bit more sensibly because we are going to get other politicians show up. There'll be other politicians wandering through the wilderness so we'll make a little bit of room there for that one we can always move that to the other side to create room for can we get one more no no we won't be able to but that's fine we can sort that out as we go that's not the end of the world right uh these are the i mean the mush bar i think is gonna be the, the only one we can have an edible putrefied mud slop mush bars are preferable to starvation but only just barely um, I shudder to think what that may or may not be made of. Yeah, oh my, look. It's just dirt and water. It's just dirt and water. Our, see, our former leaders of this country have been reduced to living underground, feeding on dirt and water. Do that. And of course, it will require power. Who's our most intelligent researcher, do we think? Let's have a little look, see. Can we look at their... Uh... So what would come under? Science, I guess. So David Cameron... No good, minus two. His trust is at zero. This isn't boding well, is it? So, basically, David Cameron is less than shit. Liz Truss and Boris Johnson are... The bare minimum. Here we go. Let's let's let's, let's watch this process take take uh, shape, shall we? I mean, I don't want to lower the tone, but this is sort of looking like something else, isn't it? Please, Lord, help me to release this demon. <laughs> They're just standing around watching it. Okay, right. While, uh, while that is going on, let's take a look at the research. So, research here. Look at the size of this research tree. This is rather expansive. Which is not nice. Not that, not quite that as crazy as I thought. However, feels to me like basic farming is important. It also gives us the algae terranium, which allows us to convert some carbon dioxide or remove some of it and produce oxygen. We get the planter box. So if we can harvest some plants and start growing stuff, it actually means that um, they won't have to just eat dirt and water for too long um we can also use a composter to just get rid of some polluted dirt if, if polluted dirt also produces toxic gases it's a good way of getting rid of it uh we can have a ration box i'm not gonna have to worry about that for too much meal preparation can come after but we've also got some other things we need to be aware of as well uh we've got power regulation i don't think we'll need that right away i think that we're probably okay with that uh provides a gathering place for duplicates during downtime uh, improves to, uh, morale, so I have to keep an eye on that. Crafting station, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, okay, again, maybe not quite too urgent. Medicine, I mean, if they're eating dirt and water, at some point they're going to get ill, right? We do have a, a basic triage table, I think, 
um, at the moment. I don't know, maybe not see it in this menu, but we do have that. But this looks like maybe it's just going to allow us to um, uh, produce some better quality medicine. Uh, liquids. I mean, at the moment, we're okay. We don't need to worry about pumping too much water around. We've only got the, wa the water basin at the moment that requires water, so that's okay. But here's the stuff we need to be probably a bit more concerned about. Although, carbon dioxide in our environment at the moment is actually not too bad. It's very heavily oxygenated, which is great. There's not much carbon dioxide going on. However, at some point, that's going to become a problem. So we will need to get that pretty quick. Um, and maybe also look to get um, some of this pressure management stuff. We can have an airlock to actually seal gases into certain places if we can filter the gas out. I think also... I don't know where it is. Uh, is it in one of these? I thought there was a way... Maybe it's maybe it's one maybe it's one of these I don't know where you could actually dictate what gas you wanted it to uh, to, to grab but I'm not sure uh, decor um, that actually the ceiling light is more important than it's making out there it's just saying that it increases the work speed within the light radius it also provides light to our plants plants of course require photosynthesis so we will need to um, to potentially get that we've got that light bug that goes around but of course we can't control that thing so uh the rest of it at the moment we're not going to be too concerned about but yeah certainly the farming is important the gas and also uh, that light for the farming uh, potentially as well uh i don't know let's have a look at our light overlay so yeah at the moment the only light is is emanating from that and this flying light bug thing so we are going to need to get that light pretty quickly as well in fairness um Right, Liz Truss is doing our research. Can only go well. Uh, let's go and dig that out to free up the space. Uh, where the f There's water leaking! There's water leaking through. Where's it going? It's, it's, it's heading down there at the moment. How do we seal that? Do we, do we need to build a... Uh, do we need to make that sealed? We need to get up there a bit bit quicker. Come on, Boris. Get to work, son. The water is dripping. I mean, it's it's, it's not going to get polluted. I don't think... No, that's granite. I don't think that will pollute it. So we do have another... I mean... Do we allow... This just to become our complete reservoir? And allow that to basically just flush through because we've inadvertently created a complete water slide here or a funnel to put all the water into this area i don't know how the water will react to the carbon dioxide i don't think it will do anything i don't think it will pollute the water maybe <laughs> this could be absolutely catastrophically stupid but to get access to this water we're gonna have to go up and around which seems like a bit of a faff so why not allow it to just to fill up down here? There's quite a lot of water there. It might end up flooding and filling up most of this section. Let's, uh, we can always dig this area out, can't we? And expand it and give it more space to store. So let's, uh, let's see what happens if we do that. This could be, as I said, absolutely catastrophic. Oh, we have another politician! Another politician is available to us. We will not take them for the moment until we get our food uh, status sorted. No one seems to be too bothered about constructing that at the moment. Or I fancied a quick workout. See, this is where the game can quickly get on top of you, right? As soon as you start getting bigger, you do need more people because there's always more jobs to do. You know... You don't realize when you're building stuff like you always have to have these batteries powered. They're constantly draining if you're using electricity. The oxygen diffuser, of course, is using it at all times. Um, the science station of using the microbe, this is using power as well. And all of a sudden now, look, all three people now are doing stuff and ignoring the dig, are ignoring that, are ignoring the build, are ignoring uh, moving water to their moving, you know, ignoring all the other jobs that they may have to do. 
uh, throughout this time. So we do need to... We will need to get this fourth politician in here reasonably quickly. Another meteor shower. The last one actually we didn't notice at all. So I'm going to presume we're far enough underground that this is not a problem. We hope. Right, Boris, come on, you're nearly, you're, uh, you're done. Soggy feet, yes, we know. That's it, eat your, uh, eat your shit bar. Yeah, I, I don't know how much water, it, I mean, there's probably 30 or 40 tons in there, you'd think. Is there 30 or 40 spaces to fill in here? Not so sure. But that gives us a water source on either side. I mean, we could actually just dig this bit out, couldn't we? And make it one large reservoir under here. Yeah, I know. Here's the other problem as well, is that when they... Um, when they eat that crap food, they obviously... they There is a much higher risk of them getting food poisoning. Which means that the old uh, triage cot here... That's physical injuries, though. There's a massage table. Um... Hopefully they'll go and use this because it will help reduce reduce germs. Some. Not many, granted. Uh, they are going to sleep on a stream and it's broken. We don't have to do anything anyway. It has broken all on its own. Uh, Boris Johnson will no longer be able to sleep. David Cameron is about to drown. The water is streaming through. Okay, well, we no, we no longer need to worry about that, and we can deconstruct that ladder in a moment. David Cameron has decided just to sleep at the top of a uh, of, the, of the ladder. I don't know where Boris. Where's Boris? Are all three of them there? Has anybody seen Boris? Oh, there he is. He's sleep, sleeping by the um, uh, the ship puncher. Okay, water coming through. Here we go, filling up here. We might need to get down here, you know, and actually harvest these. Do we need to harvest these plants? Right, they've all had a very, very bad night's sleep. The water is actually taking considerably longer um, to uh, to filter through than I thought it was going to. Water filtering through. There's still quite a chunk of water to go. This is gonna, this is gonna be up and over and over the top here, isn't it? There's quite large amounts of water now that is that is coming down. But again, going underwater is not great because they get sopping wet as well. He's got a sore back because he hasn't been able to sleep. The water will be enough though. It will filter through today before they go to, sl to sleep later, which is good. It's a good thing they've not got near those batteries. <laughs> I don't know what that would do. The game simulates a lot of things. Would it simulate a giant... Um, yeah... It wouldn't, it wouldn't explode, would it? But it would cause it would cause a problem. Here we go. The water is now filling up in that corner. There's still plenty to go. It is going to be up and over. There we go. It's up and over the top. Um. Here we go. We got the seeds. That's actually better for us because we can get the seeds and we can use our... Have we, did we do the thing? We, uh, whoa, I can't remember what it was. Have we finished the research yet? No, Liz. Oh, B Boris Johnson's now taken over. He said, leave, leave this to me, Liz. I know what to do. There we go. Boris finished it off. Right, water is almost filtered through. David Cameron and Boris Johnson just uh, getting a little bit of exercise in, having a quick chat while Liz is uh, risking her life to try and sort out this giant reservoir of water that uh, actually was created not by me. The water is almost through, though, which is good. That's not going to be deep enough, is it? I don't think. That is not going to be deep enough. Uh, we are going to have to do... What was that? 
She got hypothermia. Did that just say, oh, shit. Contracted due to extreme internal temperatures. Okay, she'll recover. That's not life-threatening. 0.3 cycles. She will, she will recover from hypothermia within a day. But she takes quite the... Um, the hit on her uh, on her stats. We should all be able to go right. We've we've the water has now stopped dripping. Can we uh, can we mop that lot? We can. So we can do that. Sort the water spill out, and they'll actually be able to sleep in their own beds this evening. Perfect. Okay. Right. Research. Next research we want to do is to get we're going to get the light. There we go. Right, that's sorted itself out. Right, let's have a look. So refinement, we've got compost. We've got reduces polluted dirt and compostables. We don't need to worry about that for now. We do have now the planter box. Now, where are we going to do the planting? I think over here would be a good idea. Um, algae, terrarium, we could stick something over there. A little spot of carbon dioxide. We could also stick one... Uh, maybe maybe there, not right next to it. That wouldn't be a nice place to work, would it? Right. Okay, well, I think, you know, I think we are going to end things there for episode one of how UK politicians would deal in an underground situation where they are scrapping and scavenging for their lives. Um, it's been uh, it's been interesting. It's been fun. We are going to continue with this playthrough. We are going to bring in another politician who will turn up in episode two. Which UK politician would you like to see um, eat food made of dirt and water uh, let me know in the comments um yeah, look, we're having a bit of fun with this this is i'm, I'm really enjoying this game really I, I remembered why this was so popular i remember why i now remember why the reviews are so good on steam if you haven't picked this up i highly recommend it we're gonna uh, we're gonna give this one the old college try for sure um so yes thank you very much everyone for watching if you did like this make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you sub make sure you ring the notification bell join the discord and we'll see you all in episode number two